Hey folks, welcome back here to The Vegas Dungeon. Channel. We're here in the city of North Las Vegas off of Bassler, uh, just south of Cary, C-A-R-E-Y, and uh, heading northbound now on Bassler. This Lexus, the front end of it is gone, and it's been slammed. That's really weird. Um, I'm gonna show you the neighborhood up here in the city of North Las Vegas. We're east of Las Vegas Boulevard for our friends that are following along at home on your preferred maps app. As we wait here and coach traffic is clear. Really have to keep your head on a swivel in these, uh, it, or just anywhere in town really. Bassler Village it says there. Dumpsters lining the roadway. You don't know who's been drinking their paycheck away or hitting the pipe or doing whatever. It just, you have to be so vigilant. Keep your head on a swivel. Maintain situal awareness at all times. Because some of these people are just not paying any attention to what they're doing. Come up here to Pruitt is on the left. They've got like a mattress or something out there. These homes here on the left. We're gonna make a left on the Crawford here. I'll show you Crawford. Haddock is the street we were just on. Haddock with an H. See some of the homes lining the roadway here. Temperature of the car right now, 113 degrees outside, it says, according to the car. I know that they take the temperature, the official temperature inside the, uh, at the airport, inside of a box in the shade next to a cooler with an AC running and all that, but <laughs> something like that. We're going to cross over Cary here, show the other side of Crawford. Got a dumpster over there. I guess people steal the dumpsters because they have to put the address on them now. An old Acura RSX. I used to work with a guy 20 years ago. He really loved those things when they first came out. Never understood his penchant for loving those things, but I haven't seen one of them in a long time. I'm kind of a car nerd, so I like that stuff. Back down here to Judson Avenue. We'll make a left. And over there is going to have to step out the water. Looks like that window has been broken into. It already is broken. Broken window theory. Come back here to Ellis Street. We'll make a left onto Ellis. Show you the neighborhood here along Ellis. Going northbound now. It's almost 6 p.m. here on a Saturday afternoon. The sun is getting lower and lower in the western sky to our left. Here and proceed. 
in Belmont. It's a four lane road, but it's not a major thoroughfare. We've got some uh, trailer parks over here. We're gonna make a left on the Nelson here. Oh, it's not, no, we're not. It's a dead end. <laughs> we're not gonna make that dead end. Another dead end right there. This is Cary. So we're gonna cross back over Cary. We've got a uh, liquor Z-Mart right here, convenience store right here in this residential area, along with a taco truck of some sort there. And, uh, yeah. Again, this is Belmont. Lillis Avenue. Looks like a trailer park community there. Glendale Avenue. Is the water police right there they run around and look look at that he's looking to see if there's any water waste so he's looking over there in the yard I don't know if that's gonna come out in the video but these are the people that run around and tell people that they cannot use water to water their lawns and he's out here on a Saturday Saturday evening that's just I'm not a fan of that. I don't know. I, I mean, I know we need to save the water. I get it, but there's got to be a better way than finding people $80 per citation every time. That just irks me. And uh, on top of that, local government then needs to stop rubber stamping all of these new housing developments, which probably will not happen because the way the political system works, they need the campaign contributions. 
from the developers in order to get elected to office. And then they have to pay the uh, developers back. That's the way it's worked for decades here in America. And continues to work. As we come back up to the water police. Out here working on a weekend. Right there. Don't waste water, it's the law. And they will fine you 80 bucks per citation, per, per um, incident. This is Kenneth Road. We're gonna make a left here on the Kenneth. Just, there has to be a better way. In my humble opinion, and I know there are gonna be those who uh, comment and say that I'm wrong, and I get it, I just, stop building new homes. If we're out of water, stop building new homes. In my humble opinion. Heather Avenue there. Kenneth and Heather intersection. Cypress Avenue there. And they've got metal grating here on the way. In the middle of the roadway. That's always a little scary for me. Paddock Avenue. Someone's selling tacos directly out of their front yard right there. guarantee you there. Oh, old Honda Civic right there. My buddy used to have one. Old Honda Civic hatchback. I guarantee you that uh, taco stand did not have a uh, license. <laughs> they usually don't. <laughs> Especially when they're operating out of their front yard. The temperature is 113 degrees right now. And it's a pretty warm day. As we come up here to the intersection with Picos Road, We'll make a right on Picos, Pecos. I say it both ways because so, I don't want to offend anyone. 7-Eleven right there in the Middle East residential area, $3.99 for regular unleaded cash price. We're gonna make this left here on the Haddock from Picos, Picos. I'll show you more of the neighborhood up here. What is becoming Northeast Las Vegas. Looks 
cars here throughout town. Someone, oh, and I thought they were selling stuff there. Another church here on our left. Come up here to Judson, we'll make a left on the Judson. No sidewalk over on this side of the street, just on the left side there. A lot of pallets in that yard. Almost looks like a, an off business of some sort. Gateway Road here on our left. And we come up to Lincoln Road. There's an old town car right there. Lincoln Town Car in the 70s. That's funny, it's here next to Lincoln Road. The height of irony. We're gonna make this left here. New Vegas Don gear merch. We've got uh, our logo on top of the skyline for the Las Vegas Strip. This is available through our shop on YouTube, so please feel free to check that out. We uh, have some great gear in there, especially for uh, cold weather folks. We have some uh, sweaters and hoodies and things of that nature, so feel free to check those out. And uh, if you haven't already, please do like, follow, and subscribe to us. We really, really appreciate it. We would not be here without you, and we mean that. And also, um, just remember that here on the Vegas Don channel, it's the journey. We'll see you again next time, folks. Take care of yourselves.